Chair. Senator uh, Nancy Bina and then after Senator Bina, Senator Pacquiao. Secretary, kadugtong lang ho nung tanong ni Senator Soto. Dun sa 3,482, ilan ho dito yung masasabing drug lord o big fish? Uh, yun po ang kwan eh. Yun nga ang parang uh, uh, we'll make another report kasi incomplete ang picture dyan eh. Kasi hindi, na, hindi sinasabi dyan well, dun sa resolution whether the drug case was, was uh, dismissed or not. Ah, Kaya, so hindi pa ho pala sure ko yung 3,482 nakakulong na tong mga taong to sa bilibid. Perhaps you're talking about different things. Baka yung 1,469 sinasabi nyo. Ano? Uh, she's asking the 3,482 resolved cases in the so, last five years. Sabi nyo, meron na kayong total conviction na 3,482. So I assume nakakulong na huto sa bilibid. Uh, opo na po, nakakulong na yung mga... And ilan mo dito yung drug lords or big time pushers? We'll have to double check the records, Madam Senator, to find out the classification of how many are the small-time pushers or users, and how many are actual drug lords. But there are cases already where the department obtained convictions involving big drug lords, also, like for for example, the one in the Shabu Laboratory in Mandawe, Cebu, and in Lipa, Batangas. No, so there have been several there have been several big convictions. Oppo. Kalbintan. Yes, but just to say, Madam Senator, we will provide you with the breakdown. We will try to check the classifications of the convicts. Thank you. And then you mentioned that you filed 126,000 cases. Nas ano nong status nung mga kaso? Ay nasa na hutong mga finalen yun ng kaso. Lahat tu ba tana kakulong ayon sa mga city jail or munis san husi lang ayon. Most of these are on bail. No, most of these uh, 126 cases are actually detained, Madam Senator. Uh, for uh, the information of the good senator, a case would last an average of about eight years. Eight years. Eight years to get a conviction or dismissal. Eight years, ma'am, yung process ng trial. Ang ang nagiging ang reality po kasi sa ground is that uh, you have. Most of the cases that are filed in pending in second level courts are actually drug cases. Puruho yung users, pushers. No? And uh, these are the cases which drag on for quite some time. So, sa dami ho nung, sa dami ho nung kaso na yan, ito ho mga tao na to mostly are under detention, preventive detention. Okay? So, ito ho yung karamihan dito ay nililitis pa ho hanggang sa ngayon. How severe were the cases? Sila? Out of, I guess, you were already 26,000. How do you classify in small time? Pusher, uh, drug lord? Well, most mm -hmm. of the cases that are filed, ma'am, are the ones which are filed uh, in the city, in the provinces. These are cases involving by bus operations. Yung mga small time us uh, users, yung mga nahuhuli ho ng, uh, na ng drugs. Uh, yung mga nahuhulihan ho na actually gumagamit sa mga small time dens no and those who are actually engaged in small time selling and use of uh, drugs this is the vast majority of the numbers that we have mga ilang percent ho sila dun sa 126,000 siguro po dito po lalabas po yan mga 90% po yan approximately 90% and then 10% lang ho talaga yung mga 90 uh, uh, yung, the remaining 10% would be those who are actually engaged in Big time selling, yung mga malakihang distribution ho ng uh, uh, drugs, and then the the laboratories that we have. Meron ho ba tayong big time drug lords na pending pa rin yung case? We have cases which have actually been filed uh, recently, uh, Madam Senator. This involves uh, Chinese nationals uh, who were found, uh, who were caught in Malabon, arrested in Malabon. Uh, this involves a laboratory. No? And then we have also the, uh, we have a case which was filed sometime in July involving a ship which was found carrying in Subic, no? uh, uh, some quantity, I think five kilos were found uh, in that area. And uh, we have several cases, I can just cannot give the exact details now, but uh, immediately after the 
administration of the side of the administration, President Duterte, there have been a lot of big cases that have been filed. The most recent one that we have is the one which was caught in Mandaluyong involving yung uh, ecstasy, uh, huge quantities, yes, uh, party drugs that they call, uh, which is also being handled now by one of our offices in uh, the field. Um, Mr. Chairman, baka, um, you can just provide the committee with the uh, data. Yes, Madam Senator. Um, tapos, um, Secretary Reyes, Ilan mo ba talaga yung um, figures natin for drug users? Kasi may, na, meron ng 3 million, may 3.7 million. I mean, based on your um, official data. Uh, thank you, Mad uh, Mr. Chair and Madam Senator. Uh, actually, we have several uh, uh, data sources, Madam Chair. From the computation of uh, the enforcement sector, we have around 3 to 3.7 million uh, Filipino users. Now, based on the... Uh, Survey naman po, Madam Chair, uh, uh, 2015 National uh, Household Survey, we have around 1.8 current users and around 4.3 million uh, lifetime users, uh, Madam Chair. 1.8? 1.8 current users. Uh, and then yung isa, sir, is 4.3 lifetime users. Ito, sir, yung mga nag tumikim, uh, tumikim once uh, in their life. At tumikim lang ho yung lifetime. At least life. naka, nakagamit ma'am. Ah, Akala ko yung lifetime yung hindi na kailangan, hindi na marirehabilitate. <laughs> Not necessarily drug dependent, that's what you mean. Uh, yes, uh, yes Mr. Chair. Uh, siguro baka pwede i-change na yung term. Kasi pag sinabi niyo ang lifetime, parang ang impression ko, lalo na ho, diba we got a data na 24% lang yung nare-rehabilitate. Baka ito yung... Probable one-time user. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, noted, sir. We will change yung uh, terminologies. Baka nga confusing, sir. Okay. And then, dun sa data nyo na, ano officially na ginagamit nyo? Yung enforcement ho, or base? Basically, yung 3.7 million, Madam Chair. And then, out of the 3.7 million, ho, hindi naman ho kasi lahat ng user pusher. So, sa pushers naman, ho, meron din ho ba tayong data? Uh, uh, sa, sa enforcement po, Madam Chair. Uh, siguro, eh, um, General Bato, may data ko ba tayo kung ilan yung pushers? Siguro percentage? Yeah, you know, we are basing our data from the uh, production of the Dead Dangerous Drugs Board. Yung nagagaling sa kanila. You know. Parang wala pa mo silang ano, number kung ilang, ilan yung pushers. Baka sa PIDEA ko, meron? We have the same data, Your Honor, uh, based on uh, the dangerous drug work. Uh, ano yung data? So basically, ma'am, uh, what we're saying is basically nakamix sila, ma'am. Eh. Ah, so pwede out of the boy. 3 million, nandun na rin yung yes, pushers. Mga ilang percentage ho, out of the users yung More often pushers. than not, ma'am, yung users po kasi, uh, once they get into the habit, they really turn to pushing later on no? Uh, to sustain po yung habit nila. So ma medyo malaking percentage po ito, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Chair. Eh, yung big-time pushers, ho. Mga, may idea ba tayo? Kung, kung yung nag-operate ho ba dito, may 100, may mm -hmm. 500 ho ba sila, or... May ganong data ho ba tayo? No. Chief, Mr. Chairman. Yung ano, the, yung available data lang namin tungkol dyan is yung binasihan namin yung yung current na nag-surrender na umabot na ng 689,906. Uh, Out of this uh, 689,000, ang uh, nag-surrender dito na user is 629,563. Tapos yung pusher is 46,028. Yan yung data lang na available sa aming owner based doon sa surrender sa ating uh, uh, pro project bubu barrel. Mga 20%? Ano? Uh, ito, sir. Uh, kung mag-approximation ka, kung mga 20-25%, therefore, kung there are 3.7 uh, probable drug dependence in the country, 20 to 25% are pushers. Ang um, ito, sir, ha? Yung surrender user is 91.25%. Ang user, ang surrender pusher is uh, 8.91%. Uh, 
Ah, mas mababa. Okay. Mababa. 10%. Po. Sa 3.7, uh, mga 370,000 pushers. Yes. Now, the classification, uh, Senator Binay, Mr. Chairman, if I may just be allowed, whether you are a street pusher, you are a mid-level pusher, or a drug pusher, or a drug lord, they are all called drug dealers. No matter what the classification, they are drug dealers. That's the, the international term. Thank you. Before I recognize uh, Senator Pacquiao, also on the agenda is uh, Senate Resolution Number 19, yeah. directing the appropriate Senate committee to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the effective drug prevention and intervention for the youth, authored by Senator Bamakino. Also, yung Senate Bill Number 8, yung Affordable Drug Rehabilitation Treatment, kaya natin inimbita rin yung DOH and the uh, local government uh, executives uh, here present. So, Mr. Chair, Senator Pacquiao, sir, yes, please. regarding your earlier question on the Udikta discharge, we ask our people to do the research. Uh, Melvin Udikta, prison, prisoner number 137586-P, was released, uh, the order of release was signed on June 7, 1995 by Penal Superintendent Colonel Prospero Barcenas. That is what we have on our record, sir. 1995, sir. Uh, there is no, there is no in further info as of the moment, sir. But we'll try to look into it. Pero convicted ito, di ba? Yes, sir. Kasi prisoner number. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, walang please provide the committee the details. Yes, sir. Of of the release. Yes, sir. Thank you, yes, sir. Mr. Thank Chair, pwede pa dagdag lang kay Secretary Aguirre kasi na mention na 46,000 new pushers na file ano ba ng mga kaso itong 46,000. I think it's contained in the statistics which you have just read by uh, Senior State Prosecutor Padulion. Yes, Madam Senator, most of these cases involving this pushers or drug dealers have been filed in court. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Oh, Secretary Ray. Uh, Madam Senator, who was, I... But, but who was the Secretary of Justice in 1995 when Odikta was released? Was... Uh, the Secretary of Justice then was, if I'm not mistaken, Sir Secretary Gingona. Yes, Sir. Uh, Secretary Gingona. Secretary Gingona, Sir. Uh, Sige, please proceed, uh, Secretary. Uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Chair, just to add, uh, uh, to answer the question of uh, Madam Senator Binay. What uh, PDA has, uh, Mr. Chair, is the data on high-value targets, uh, Mr. Chair. In 2015, uh, they have arrested around 1,822 high-value targets. That's around 9.38% of all those arrested by the enforcement uh, sector, uh, Mr. Chair. And when you talk about high-value targets, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, it talks about politicians, law enforcers, member of drug groups and armed groups, government employees, and foreign nationals that were arrested. Ah, Kaya, so, hindi pa ho pala sure ko yung 3,482 nakakulong na tong mga taong to sa bilibid. Perhaps you're talking about different things. Baka yung 1,469 sinasabi nyo. Ano? Uh, Chair? Senator uh, Nancy Bina, and then after Senator Bina, Senator Pacquiao. Secretary Aguirre, kadugtong lang ho nung tanong ni Senator Soto. Dun sa 3,482, ilan ho dito yung masasabing drug lord o big fish? Ah, Nakakulong na yung mga And ilan ho dito yung drug lords or big time pushers? We'll have to double check the records, Madam Senator, to find out yung classification po. How many are yung... Uh, yung po ang kwan eh. Yun nga ang parang... Uh, uh, i we'll make another report. Kasi incomplete ang picture dyan eh. Kasi hindi, na, hindi sinasabi dyan well, dun sa resolution whether the drug case was, was uh, dismissed or not. She's asking the 3,482 resolved cases. In the so last five years. Na kayong total conviction na 3,482. So I assume nakakulong na ho sa bilibid. Uh, opo, the 